you're a business owner or a creator, you're probably creating or thinking of creating video content for either your Instagram stories, IGTV, or maybe even your YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can film videos for Instagram and YouTube using just your phone. So there are some cons to filming with your phone, but there are also so many benefits. I started this channel with my iPhone and to be honest, I loved it. It's so convenient, you just click record and start filming. I did upgrade my gear a few months ago, but I'm still filming a lot of content for Instagram on my phone and I definitely think it's possible to film high quality videos without a DSLR. The quality of the phones is getting better and better and I definitely think that you don't have to go out and get expensive equipment to start creating video content. A lot of people will get really excited about filming at the beginning and then they'll be over it in a couple of weeks. So I definitely suggest you start with your phone and then see how consistent you are and start investing in more professional equipment later. So there are a few tips and tricks I want to show you in order to boost the quality and make the most of what you have. Some of these tips are definitely a game changer, so make sure you watch until the end. All right, so first we're gonna have to decide how we're going to turn the phone while filming. This will depend on what you're shooting the video for. If you're shooting for stories or IGTV, you're gonna have to turn the phone this way. But if you're shooting for YouTube, turn it this way. All right, so the next thing I'm going to talk about are the camera settings. There are many things you can do in order to boost your video quality. Now, I have an iPhone 11 and I'm gonna show you the settings on my phone. I'm not sure what the settings on Androids look like. I really wish I could show you, but unfortunately I don't have it, but I hope it's something similar. So the first thing we're going to do is set the quality. So go to settings, choose camera, and record video. So these are the options, and as you can see, we can go all the way up to 4K, which is the best quality, but it's going to take up a lot of space. So 1080 is a good option as well, as far as the quality goes, and it doesn't take up that much space. If you want to shoot a video for your Instagram feed, keep in mind that it's going to be cropped into a square, so make sure you're not too close to the camera while filming. All right, since we're talking about storage, make sure you have enough of it. There's nothing worse than getting into filming and being in the middle of the video and have to stop and start deleting old stuff. Been there, done that, and I can tell you that it's the worst. All right, so back to the settings. The next thing we can do is add the grid, which will show you where the center is. You can add that by clicking the toggle here. So let's talk about cameras a little bit. So there are two ways you can film with your phone. You can use either the front or the back camera. The front camera is really convenient because you can look at yourself while filming, but the quality of your back cameras is way better. So you have to decide what works best for you. But if you do decide to use the front camera, please look at the lens, not yourself, because the viewers will notice that you're not looking directly to the camera and you won't be able to connect with your audience as much. All right, so the next thing and one of the most important things I wanna talk to you about is lighting. Now, lighting can really make or break your video, so make sure you get this right. If you're not trying to invest in fancy lights, your best option is natural light. So if you have a window, sit in front of it and film there. Unfortunately, sometimes this is not an option and even if you have a lot of natural light, sometimes it's just really dark outside. So here's where you're going to have to add some additional light. I suggest investing in one of these little ring lights that make all the difference while filming, especially for stories since you're going to be near the camera. Let me show you. So this is without the light and this is what it looks like when I turn it on. All right, so now let's talk about tripods. Now you definitely don't need this. You can just put your phone on a stack of books or something, but it's really handy to be able to adjust the height and take it anywhere you want. And the good thing is that it doesn't have to be this massive expensive stand because you'll only be putting your phone in, which is not that heavy as opposed to a DSLR. Now, when I first started, I had this little stand, which was like 20 or 30 bucks and it worked great. You can just pop the phone here and take it wherever you want. I also have this little thingy, which you can attach anywhere and just pop the phone in here and start filming. All right, so I want to talk to you about the sound a little bit. The most important thing here is that there's no background noise when you're filming because it can be really distracting. It might sound like a really basic advice, but you'd be surprised at how many people film with background noise. 
Filming outside is a lot trickier than inside since there's wind and other sounds. So I would suggest filming inside just to be safe, especially if you don't have a mic. Phones nowadays have great mics already integrated, so it's not necessary to buy any additional accessories. But if you want to ramp up the sound a little bit, then you can use one of these little lapel mics, which make a huge difference. I really love these because you can just plug them into your phone, attach them to your shirt, and that's it. All right, so my next tip is to turn on the flight mode while filming. There's nothing worse than being interrupted by a notification or a call, so make sure you keep that in mind. Also, do a test before starting to film. It will save you lots of headaches. You won't believe how many times I had to refilm a video because my mic wasn't plugged in or I wasn't positioned in the center or something. What really helped me was to set up a mirror behind the phone because I was able to see myself and check if my hair was all right and if I was positioned properly. Another cool thing about filming with your phone is that you can easily utilize slow-mo and time lapses for B-roll footage. It will make your content more dynamic and fun. You have this feature on your phone already, so you don't have to download any additional apps. Just go to your camera, and slide to slow-mo or time-lapse. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next one, bye.